that your my youtube channel is all about getting into medical school staying into medical school and getting out of medical school and basically adulting as a medical doctor and um this is one of the aspects of my life one of the battles that i fought you know just to show that youtubers or doctors we do go through the same struggle as you guys do i, I had acne and i'm sure some of you are battling acne and i'm very happy to hold your hands away i'm very happy to share my journey although it's something that dug a little bit my confidence but i'm perfectly very fine now and um, i just want you to know it's normal it's a normal human reaction to feel a little bit you know uh, but I'm not, I'm not feeling myself i don't feel too much like my uh, baby girl baby boy it's normal okay it's normal you're, you're doing well it's it's normal just accept yourself the way you are and accept the then just be happy in the journey the moment i decided that you know what this journey i'm about to embark on i'm very happy about it i'm just gonna enjoy the process i have felt so much peace and zen like <sighs> i'm telling you okay so now let's jump into my skincare routine oh by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel do not forget to give this video very big thumbs up click the subscribe button and if you know you're fighting any acne condition what's not drop it down below let's say we can you know help each other you know what i'm saying okay so first of all my skincare routine first thing i do sorry first thing i do is i wash my hands right and i have a bowl of water and i use this blemish control bar soap and just rub on my face for it to form like a mask Right? So I just dip the soap in water and then just rub on my face. So this is this is the product I'm talking about. So this is it. The blemish control bar soap. It's from Forever Clay, and I've got to say this is a game changer for me. I'm not even going to lie. It's a massive game changer for me. I leave it on for about 30 minutes to an hour and um, basically I just use it and then just get around with doing stuff. Like now in the evening because I know it's not like I have to do a devotion or what's not. I just stay in bed and I'm watching my <laughs> series. And then once it's like 30 minutes to an hour, I get the water boiling in the jug. And then it's actually boiled. And then I just go in and do a sec I double cleanse actually. Do a second cleansing with um CeraVe um what's it called? Give me a minute, let me get it for you. The CeraVe acne cream cleanser. For me cream cleanser, acne for me cream cleanser. This word I second I double cleanse with. Once I'm done with this, I go ahead to you know do my shower and come out of the bathroom. Usually I wait for my face to air dry. If not, I use a separate towel to dry my face. But recently, I preferred my face to air dry. So let's go and get it done and not talk about it and just show you how I do it. Okay? Okay, so I'm actually back from the shower. And this is what my face looks like without the acne. I'm going to insert my before pictures. I think somewhere here. This is what my face looks like without the face wash. I have just double cleansed with the... Forever Clear Blemish Control Soap with Glanot Extract and um, this is it. I just finished cleansing with this one as is it as a leave-on mask and then I use the CeraVe Acne Foam Cream Foam Foaming Cleanser as the second one to double cleanse. This is what it actually looks like and the active ingredients here is four percent benzoyl peroxide so benzoyl peroxide literally just gets in your skin kills the acne forming bacteria and so for this one this one contains um control soap it contains um sodium palmate sodium palm glycerin cola nut extract um lactic acid tocopherol acetate those are really amazing products so yeah this is what the side view looks like i'm sure you can still see some scars of my acne from this point yeah this is what this point looks like this is where we label the good side and we can see just this one pop that i'm dealing with here that's really what i'm dealing with in this region this and this really then if we look at the side we we'll see this it's just barely new and i have a secret ingredient for it we have this i'm dealing with here and uh, i'm actually searching for them there were like so many before i think that's the only one i'm dealing with here this one and this one 
yeah that's what i'm dealing with here so this what this looks like this was the bad side actually guys but look at see the lord's work here is a very acne prone zone for me as well this is all the place the max was covering so you can really tell the difference right there's nothing here here my forehead also used to break out but i'm really dealing with nothing you can see i've not added any product to my face it's already a natural glow to my face and it's not because of the lightning i just have this glow to my face already so yeah <clears throat> so these are the two things i used to cleanse my face these two i used to use the neutrogena um what's it called acne wash the orange one but i realized i break out i was breaking out then so i decided to reintroduce it little by little the active ing ingredient in that one is two percent salicylic acid which is a very good chemical exfoliant as well it helps to you know exfoliate the dead skin cells and all that battling acne so yeah this is four percent ben benzyl peroxide and colonnade extract with lactic acid and tocopherol acetate here all right so the next step in my skincare routine is my what's it called my toner i started out with this neutrogena rapid clear two-in-one fight and fit toner. obviously it's finished mid i think quarter way through i stopped and joined the pixie family this one so it is the pixie skin trade vitamin c tonic well what's it called toner and it is infused with ferulic acid it is really good because first off the toner helps balance your skin ph to receive products so i really don't skip up my toner and then it's got vitamin c in it which means it will help fade out uh, what you called the spots i'm dealing with so that's a joy of it it smells really nice and it's got ferulic acid so yeah we we like that in the toner i think ferulic has you see i spray and leave this one on because it came with some Thing where I had to use a pan, I didn't want to use a um, cutting pad, I just used to spray this and leave it on. But this one, I couldn't get a spray for it, and I realized that I don't mind. Oops, I don't like to touch it with my bare hand, I don't like the cutting pad thing, so I'm just going to get um, I didn't like the cutting pad, but when I realized this one, I was like, I don't want to spray this on and leave it on, so I'm just going to use the cutting pad with it. So let me go get the cutting pad. Can you imagine? I didn't even get everything here. My camera timed out sorry so we we'll just finish up with the toner and usually the toner helps expose your cleansing procedure it shows you how clean your face really is we're going to inspect when i'm done okay because i know my face mm -mm. and also don't forget that the cleanser also takes up the dead skin cells that have um been exfoliated but didn't you know rinse off and all like still left there basically it helps you take up the scab and all of that that needs to go off so after toral cleansing exposed so that's step two so my next step usually will be serums and oil okay so once we're done we've let that dry out i leave it for like five minutes tops so that it dries out and then you know dries into my skin the next i do is i go in my vitamin c serum so you see the vitamin c serum i i use dr rachel's one and it's, it's basically this it comes with a dropper and I just squeeze some of the content out and apply it to my face it's really vitamin C -ish. like it smells like vitamin C so Okay, so I just finished rubbing in the vitamin C serum in. It's hard time to sit in. So quickly, we'll go to the next one. The next one I use is 10% niacinamide and 1% 1 1 zinc. 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc from the ordinary. So basically, that one too from the fridge. So zinc helps in cell turnover. And niacinamide is very good for helping with blemish. I like I prefer this method of blemish or um, what's it called control and increase skin cell turnover um, helping my skin cell turnover because they are vitamins so we'll just do what we do here we'll massage this into the skin don't forget the corners of your nose and 
under your eyes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And the big old shiny forehead of ours. Okay, so once we're done with the niacinamide, the next thing we're going to do is moles. But since I have active, whenever I have what's it called? Fresh breakouts, I control fresh breakouts with this. This is what I call the game changer. This changes the game. <laughs> so this is basically 10% 10 10 benzyl peroxide. This is what it looks like in there, right? So 10% um, benzyl peroxide, it kills the acne forming um, bacteria in the skin and then it's prone to irritation. I'm trying to read exactly how they wrote it. They wrote, skin irritation may occur characterized by redness, burning, itching, peeling, or possi possibly swelling. I, I got this. The first two days I used it, my whole place was peeling. So I decided to use it one day, then in two days time, I'll use it again. And I got used to it and I'm able to use it twice a day. So I'm going to say one thing that is key in skincare is to gradually introduce yourself to this product. Don't just start bam wham, okay? You don't just start all of that, all, all like that. So yeah, um, that's what this one does. So I'm going to go ahead. Remember, my hands are clean. And I store all my products in the fridge. That's a personal preference because I want a situation where whenever I use the toner, it feels really cool on my face. I don't want it to be feeling hot and burning and all that. So it just feels all my products are in the fridge. Bring it out, they feel really cool. And then massage it in and, you know, and all that. So with this here, I'm going to target the one here. Then I think we had one somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, then we'll go to the other side of the face. We had one here. Uh, I think there was one here. Do we have another acne? Let's assume there's one here. So you just basically, I usually take it to, oh, I'm running out, to target the, what's it called, the spots. There was one that was trying to form, and anyone that is trying to form, I usually use it on it. This is healing. So yeah, basically once I do that, I just rub it in in circular motion. I'm going to stop talking and get rubbing now. So. just wait for a bit for it to kind of you know dry out and then you can skip this step if you don't have any active outbreak no you don't feel any outbreak coming on just skip this step but I like this one to you know settle into my skin first before adding the oils and the serums and all that so like as you can see here he says it kills 99% of acne forming bacteria that is the basic one thing that I know benzoyl peroxide does and basically if it's cleaning the bacteria it means it's going to help prevent further outbreak and then it's killing the ones that are actually forming it so what we're going to do is moisturize so for moisturizing I use this baby forever clear blemish control soap i'm not sure the what's it called the if i'm not using this i'm using this bad boy the setter fuel or what's it called moisturizing lotion this one it's really good very lightweight and i this is what i started off with but recently i've been using this and this is what it comes like so This one also helps with advanced skin removal renewal i mean the active ingredient here so the active ingredient here is the cola nut extract the glycerol nicotinamide tocopherol acetate um yeah <laughs> Okay, 
stir with the, we're done or with my face then usually I would like to say let's not forget the neck so this is actually a lot more than I usually use I use very little rub it walk it into my hand and then just get my neck lightly on this place because let's not let's not forget this appendages when we are moisturizing and because my hands get dry so we moisturize my hands too they want our and you know our knuckles looking ashy so yeah so you see i find a way to combine the cetaphil and um forever clear advanced skin renewal blemish control cream so because this also works on blemish control so I, it's why one of the reasons why I like it. It's actually, you know, it gives me the, I feel hydrated actually when I use it. So we we'll walk that one into our skin. Oh, nice. It was in the morning. I'll have added my Neutrogena, Neutrogena Hydro Boost and SPF 30. So yeah, basically that's all for my skincare routine. It's been a long journey. You can tell the girl is glowing. You can tell the girl is glowing so yeah um that's really it for my skincare routine if you've enjoyed this video thus far do not forget to smash the subscribe button give this video a very big thumbs up and comment which part of the skincare routine video you want more enlightenment on or which of the products do you use or which one do you recommend fyi you know my skin is very sensitive and which you know what do you think I'm doing wrong? Or what do you think I'm doing right? Because, girl, <laughs> it took a long time to get to this combination. So let's quickly have a recap. First, okay, so okay. this is what my face looks like. Like, I had to turn off the flash so I could show you what the products, the glossy products look like. So this is what the Forever Clear Blemish Control Soap looks like. And this is what the soap in it, the bow soap looks like. So basically, that's the first step. Then we went on to the CeraVe um, benzoyl peroxide 4% and yep, that's for cleansing. Then we went to the toning which is next. My toner is somewhere here. Vitamin C Pixie Toner. This is the packaging. Then we also did the, this one came before, what's it called? The, after the toning all right after this we moved on to the vitamin c serum this is the product this is what it looks like and then niacinamide Woo. all of this are war we are using to fight the blemish fyi niacinamide is great i mean it's absolutely great for controlling um what's it called um dark spots amazing then the last thing we did was moisturize and I really wanted you to see what this product looks like. So this is the Forever Clear um, Advanced Skin Renewal or what's it called Moisturizing Lotion and a Blemish Control Cream as well. This is what the inside looks like. I really wanted you to see what the inside looks like. That's why I actually turned off my what's it called. I think I'm almost halfway. I'm probably halfway with this product now. It's amazing and it's not expensive as well also use the cetaphil moisturizer and then we'll top it up with the sunscreen hydro boost i because i'm home i'm not going to go out i don't use sunscreen one thing you should know is if you're going to use niacinamide you're going to use vitamin c infused products you should use a sunscreen and the sunscreen really just helps your newly growing skin to you know protect it from uv damage and uv damage can also cause acne so it protects it from UV damage, it's another precipitant of acne, and then you're good to go. So thank you once again for watching my YouTube chat, my YouTube video. Don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below what your skincare routine is like. If you think you're going to have a skincare routine after this, and if you think it's best to have a skincare, actually, I think male, female, everybody should have a skincare routine. I'm just going right, to so you. thank you again once again, guys. Thanks for coming along to view my skincare routine it was so much fun doing this with you Do not forget i post videos on how to get into medical school my journey as a doctor and uh, you know everything that i feel comfortable sharing i know i promised you fit related videos trust me it's in the works it's going to come up soon Do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram 
get on me on um, tweet at me at Twitter and then connect with me on all social media platforms so that you know it's not disjointed what is going on in my life thanks once again and congrats to the newly graduated doctors special shout out to my girl Oluwa Busola Deju it's her YouTube channel do, do please go sh show some love I talk a bit too much actually do go, do please uh, do go show some love no. Do go so sh do go sh show some love on the YouTube channel, and if you're new here, why don't you smash the subscribe button as well? Thanks, thanks, thanks again. My skin journey has been amazing. I'm so happy we've gotten to a place where we're just fighting our battle scars. Thank you once again, and keep up to date with my journey weekly on my Instagram channel. Thanks again. Bye, guys.